eyes start to close either to the floor or close them completely. You don't need to force anything. Just let the eyelids start to gently relax and take in your space, your environment, the present moment as it's arriving. Feel into your space. So you might notice the air on your skin. Try not to judge it, critique it, analyze it. If you notice the urge to change anything that we notice in the next few moments, just notice that urge to change it and then do what you can to just be with it instead of forcing change, pushing it away. Just allow yourself to be with what surfaces. So for right now, we just show up fully. Feel the legs on the floor. Feel the hands rest where they've landed. Letting your awareness swirl around outside of you. Taking it all in, good, bad, and different, just take it in. And start to shift your awareness inside. That's where we start to feel the body. Feel any areas that feel maybe a little tense or tight. You also can feel the lightness, the openness. We don't need to just feel the yucky stuff. So just take notice of everything. And as you feel into the physical body, you might go a little deeper, feel into the emotional body and even notice the mental body. So you might notice as we sit here, the mental chatter, the critique or judgment on maybe what I'm saying or thinking about what's to come or glued to some idea or thought from earlier. So if the mind is busy, just do what you can to let it be a passing cloud. And allow yourself to anchor into the present moment, feel the legs and hips on the earth. Start to feel the gentle flow of your breath. You might welcome a fuller inhale and a more complete exhale, breathing deeper down into the belly. Allow the breath to lengthen. So just invite it to slow down. It might not slow down as much as it will eventually. So just be where you are, adding a little bit of length, not just the inhale, but the exhale. Letting the breath be even. If you're feeling a little busy or anxious and hard to settle in, you might lengthen the exhalation. If you're feeling a little tired, let the breath be even, but really fill up with that inhale. Let's bring the hands together at the heart. Let the heart reach up towards the thumbs, the shoulders roll back. Let's join together as one with a cleansing breath to begin our practice. Big full inhale. Nice audible exhale. And then release the hands to the knees or the thighs. Go ahead and look over to the right. Bring the chin over towards the right shoulder. Take a nice full breath in, full breath out. Inhale back through center and look over to the left. Chin reaches over the left shoulder. Be full breath in, full breath out. Bring the face back through center. As you arrive, roll the shoulders up, squeeze them tight, press them back, and melt them down as you exhale. We'll just take the right ear to the right shoulder and we'll let the breath guide the movement. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. And exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Let's go with this, let your breath guide your movement. Of course, any organic movement that surfaces or if you find a spot that you wanna hang out in and take a few extra breaths, you can do that. 
Over the course of the next few moments, let your breath be your anchor. Attempt to soften the face and release the jaw as you explore and be curious to sensation with that. There's no rush, but taking your time to bring the chin back to the chest and then inhale the head up to neutral. As you arrive, find more length in the spine. Crown of the head reaches up, tailbone grounds down. We'll move through a little cat cow, but we're gonna add on to it. So let the arms come out straight, resting on the knee. As you inhale, reach the arms up, open the heart. So take the arms wide, so it's more like a V. And then we're gonna take those fingertips, reach them behind you, open the chest, lift the chin, if that feels safe for the neck. And then the fingertips start to touch down, keep that heart open. Good, squeeze shoulder blades together, beautiful. And then as you exhale, we reach those arms up and start to round the spine, tuck the chin, take the hands to the knees, round it out. Inhale, open the heart, lift the arms, reach the back, one big movement if you can make it in a full inhale, otherwise take an extra breath. Good. And then as you exhale, reach those arms back and up, round the spine, tuck the chin. Good. Just keep going through a few more at your own pace. Opening up, squeezing shoulder blades together. And exhale and rounding off. Don't forget to tuck the chin and get that opening back to the neck too. Let's do one more. This I'm hoping will help wake you up a little bit and start to warm up the neck and the back. And then as you're ready, inhale to neutral, take the shoulders, roll them back and down. Let's take the hands, we're going to clasp them at the low back, palm to palm, bend the elbows. Try to keep those shoulders rolling back and elbows squeezing towards each other. Sit up nice and tall. Then take the hands over to the right hip. Try to keep the torso even, so don't pull so much that it turns you. To keep the torso even and just take the hands over as far as they'll go. And be sure to drop the left shoulder. And then either stay there or melt very gently. It's not going to go very far, most likely the right ear to the right shoulder. Nice big breath in and out. Begin to tuck the chin and look over towards the right knee. Another full inhale, full exhale. Good. Inhale, lift the head back through center. Let's take those hands over to the other side, dropping the shoulder, evening out the spine, and then letting the right ear melt to the right shoulder. Nope, left ear to left shoulder, my bad. Take a nice full breath in, full breath out. And then begin to tuck the chin, looking towards that left knee. Nice full inhale, full exhale. Inhale, lift the head back through center. Go ahead and release those arms to center, palms to center, and then take the knuckles and start to pull them down towards the floor. Don't just pull them down. Think first about squeezing shoulder blades together, elbows together, and then the knuckles can start to reach down towards the floor, maybe behind you, open up the heart, and maybe the chin will lift if that feels good. If you lift the chin, think about opening up the throat rather than throwing the head back. Nice full breath here. Very gently release everything. Come to your neutral spine and just go inward and feel what you feel. Reconnect to your breath. Big inhale, big exhale. Let's take those arms out nice and wide. And we'll cross the left arm over the right. You can give yourself a hug, or you can find eagle arms back to back or palm to palm. Wherever you are, we lift either the elbows up or if the fingers are ahead of it, above it, lift those. And then drop the shoulders. Good. 
And then go ahead and take a nice big breath into the back body. Back of the shoulders, feel the shoulder blades spread. And then start to pull the low tummy in, begin to round the spine, bring those elbows towards your ankles. Maybe the forearms come towards the floor parallel. You might tuck the chin and let the head be heavy. Take a nice full breath. Inhale, lift the fingertips and the elbows up. Lift the head and the heart. Unwind, stretch those fingers nice and bright. Squeeze shoulder blades together, open the heart. And then we do the other side, right arm over, arm, right arm over left. Either a hug or eagle arms. We'll lift up those elbows and fingertips, drop the shoulders. Take a nice full breath. Begin to melt the elbows towards the ankles, round the spine, shoulder blades spread. Nice full breath into that upper back. Soften the jaw and the face. Grounding down, lifting up, and then reach the arms, unwind them, squeeze shoulder blades, open the heart, and release those hands down. Just feel into that. Notice what you feel. Take a nice full breath in, full breath out. Beautiful. We're going to, let's come to sit on the mat. Um, let you set yourself up so that your hips are a little bit in front of your roll. <laughs> Excuse me. If you have low back pain or issues, you might come away from the roll a little more so there's some spaciousness to your back. Um, otherwise, you can come pretty close, but you still want your hips on the ground. Don't come back down yet because we're not quite there. Set it up, and if you think you might need a pillow at the very top to rest your head on, then just throw one up there. So that it's all set up. Now, bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall out wide. If you want to support them, you can, but we're not going to actually hang out here too long, but we will for a few breaths. Let the knees surrender, sit up tall, shoulders back, heart lifts, crown lifts. Your hands can come to the ankles as you pull the ankles towards you. Good. And you lift from here, take a nice full breath, or maybe melt in a little bit. Maybe you reach the arms forward. And Find a gentle sway if that feels good, or you can be in stillness. Pressing the soles of the feet together, keeping them somewhat active. Just take another two or three breaths here. And then walking the hands in, sit up tall. Keep those soles of the feet glued together. They might want to open up like a book, and I know some teachers teach that. I am not teaching. We want to keep the soles of the feet together because we're going to bring some action into the legs. Lift the knees a little bit so you feel the inner thighs start to work. We don't want to lift them so much that the soles of the feet <coughs> on the hook. Keep lifting them a little. Action on the inner thighs. <coughs> bring your hands forward. Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. And then we're going to start to round the spine. Yes, that thing is there and we will fix it. But for right now, just round the spine and we're going to lower down slowly. It's okay if you land on your roll. Keep the inner thighs lifted. Keep the core engaged. And just lower yourself down onto your roll. When you do get there, help the knees together. You might need to fix yourself on your roll. And just adjust it. Let the arms rest out. And if it feels good to keep the knees bent, you could do that. You can also straighten them and let the legs rest wide. Let's just take like 10 breaths here. Let the shoulders melt to the floor, let the heart open. Nice big inhale, big exhale. Try to let go of whatever there is lingering about, anything that you might be gripping. Whether that be mind, body, heart. Soften the jaw and the face. Nice full breath here, big inhale. 
Big exhale. And two more of those cleansing breaths on your own. If you're loving this and want to stay for another few moments, feel free. And we'll pick you up in just another couple of moments after we do a little movement with the arms. So if you want to join in, just take the arms and bring them down by your hips. You might bring the legs a little closer together so they're just hip distance. Flex the feet, root down through the heels. Inhale, reach the fingertips straight up towards the ceiling. Palms face each other. And then start to reach those thumbs up and over the head. They may touch to the floor, they may not. Just reach, reach, reach. Take a nice big breath in and out. Reach the arms straight up, fingertips towards the ceiling. And then we're going to find cactus arms. So send the palms towards your feet, bend the elbows out to the side, and let the elbows maybe come to the floor. They may or may not. And then we'll let the backs of the hands start to melt towards the earth. Again, this is a lot deeper because we have this wool underneath. So don't push it, only go to the place that feels safe. And just take a nice full breath. Keep the elbows on the floor, start to rotate the fingertips back up towards the ceiling. And then we're gonna take the palms towards the floor, aiming towards our toes. Again, they're not probably gonna reach all the way to the floor, they might. You don't have to force it, we're just opening things up. Okay. Let's inhale, fingertips straight up, elbows stay on the floor. One more time, backs the hands, rest to the floor. And then let's take those fingertips, point them up again, and the palms of the hands rest to the floor, pointing towards the toes. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring those fingertips straight up towards the ceiling, reach them all the way up, and then exhale, relax them down by your side. Go ahead and bend your knees, place the feet to the floor. We're going to roll over onto our right side. Bring the knees as high as the hips, use your arm as a pillow, and then go ahead and very mindfully move your roll away. We'll end up using that mat space. Just be careful because that's where a lot of people do hurt themselves trying to move props from awkward positions. So you can always come out and come back in. Once you arrive on your right side, knees are as high as the hips, knees are stacked, hips are stacked, ankles are stacked. Let's go ahead and take the bottom arm, reach it forward. So stretching the arm from the shoulder and then the other arm on top. Now, we probably want a little something under your head for at least a little bit. So I should have told you to just use that block or that blanket. But if you have something to put under your head to keep the spine nice and neutral, that would be best for right now. Keep the knees glued together. Keep the thighs glued together. We're going to take that top arm, left arm, like a book. Open it up towards the ceiling and reach it behind you. Keep those knees and thighs glued together so the opening comes strictly from the upper back and the spine. And then go ahead and close that up. Let's do that one more time. Open up. Reach the fingertips as far back as you can. And then close the book. And then this time we'll open up, but move whatever's under your head so the head can rest to the floor and open up and let the knees and thighs unglue. And now we come into our twist. Left shoulders heavy to the floor. You might lift the head and center it above the spine. Look up towards the ceiling. Take three or four big breaths into this opening. Soften the jaw. If you want a little more in the neck, lift the head an inch off the floor, look over towards your left hand and then drop it back down. Another full breath in, full breath out. Cool. 
If the head is looking towards the left hand, lift the head, bring it back to your center. And then we'll take that left arm, reach it up and over to close the book. When you get there, take a big breath into the back of the heart. <clears throat> Be mindful of your neck here. And then you'll gently roll onto your back. Feet to the floor with bent knees. Let's just breathe into the neutral spine. Right. And we'll go ahead and roll over to the left side. Knees are as high as the hips. You might put something under your head again. Left arm reaches out from the shoulder. Shoulders are stacked. Hands are stacked. The fingertips should line up. Keep the knees and the thighs glued together here. And we take the right arm, reach it up towards the ceiling, and then open it up. Keep those knees and thighs glued together so that we're getting strictly from the upper body. And then go ahead and close that book. And then we do it again. Open it up. Allow that right arm to melt to the floor. Even if it doesn't reach, just go in that direction. And close the book. And this time we move the pillow from under the head. Open the book, release the knees and thighs from being glued together so that the hips can open a little bit and let yourself settle into the twist. Remember, if you want to get into the neck, lift the head an inch off the floor or a centimeter, turn the gaze over towards the right, and then drop the head back down. Nice full breath here, big inhale, big exhale. Let's take one more breath here. Beautiful. Right arm starts to reach up and over, closing that book, and then just realigning back onto your mat carefully. Bent knees, take a nice big breath to the belly. Let the arms and shoulders and head soften as you exhale. Bring the feet so they're hip distance. Feet are rooted to the floor. We're going to send the right leg straight up. We've been focusing on the upper body mostly. Let's get into the bottom half of the body. Make some circles with the ankles. Other direction. Point and flex. Wiggle those toes. Now let's bend the knee. Place the hands around the knee. Pull the knee into the chest. Make sure your right hip is not pulling out to the side. You want that hip pulling down towards the front edge of the mat. And either stay here or let the left leg go long. Flex the foot. Press energy out the heel. Ground that heel. Take a nice full breath in, full breath out. Keep those hands around the right leg. Left leg, if it's straight, is going to flex and slowly lift up. So really engage your core to lift it up towards the ceiling. If it's bent, just lift it straight up towards the ceiling. Good. And then release the right foot to the floor. Take your hands, move them to the back of the left thigh, and gently pull that the toes towards your face. Good. We're not pulling hard. We're just letting the weight of our arms pull the toes in this direction, press energy off the heel, make sure that left hip isn't popping out, keep pulling it down towards the front of the mat. And then if you want to stay here, stay here or walk the hands up higher or straighten the right leg. Open the jaw, take a couple of good breaths. Big inhales, big exhales. Big breath in, big breath out. Beautiful. Stabilizing in the back body. We're going to bend the right knee in towards the chest like we started. Let that left leg go straight, slowly lowering it down towards the floor so the hands come around that right knee again. 
Don't let the left leg go all the way down. Bring it to a hover. If this is too much for you, then just bend the knee and place the foot to the floor. If you're hovering, flex that foot, pull the low tummy in, and then maybe let the heart reach up towards the right knee. Remember, the heart is doing the reaching, not the chin and the chest. Feel your core strength. Another two breaths here. Maybe lift the heart a little more. And then gently release the head and heart to the floor. Let's bend both knees, place the feet to the floor. Take a big belly breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. Send the left knee into your hands, bring it into your chest. Either stay there or let the right leg extend, flex that foot. Notice if either of the hips are pulling out to the side, try to pull them both down towards the front of the mat. Nice full breath. We inhale, big exhale. Ground through the back body, flexing that right foot, but slowly lift it straight up towards the ceiling. Nice and slow and control. Once it's up there, we'll take the hands around the back of the right leg, place the left foot to the floor. Let's do some circles. I can't remember if we did this side. I think we did, but we'll circle the other side too. Good. And then pause, flex the feet, and start to melt the toes towards your face. Either stay here or walk the hands up further, and then maybe you choose to extend that left leg long. Soften the jaw and the face, relax shoulders to the floor. Another good breath here. Nice full inhale, full exhale. Beautiful. All right, left knee is gonna come into the chest. Grab hold of the knee with your hands. Right leg is straight, we slowly lower it just to a hover. We lower it just above the floor. Pull your low belly in. Start to bring your heart up towards the left knee. Try to not pull with the shoulders. Keep those shoulders relaxed, even move the head around. We're just shrinking the space between the heart and the pelvis. Lift a little more. Good. And then very slowly release down and bend the knees, place both feet to the floor. Take a nice big breath in and a big breath out. Good. Hands down by your side. I'll we'll slowly move up into bridge. So let's do two lifts and lowers, moving bridge. Inhale, lift those hips, squeeze the glutes. Good. And then exhale, lower down. You might hear my dog, he's going a little crazy right now. Just ignore him, everything's fine. And hopefully this one doesn't act up. The good news is she's losing her hearing. Lift the hips and slowly lower. And one last one, we'll hang out there, press the feet down, lift those hips, squeeze glutes, maybe lift a little more getting into the heart. Press shoulders down, arms down. Let's take two more breaths up high. And then very slowly lowering upper, middle, then lower back. Use your core strength. And your hips land to the ground. Take a nice cleansing breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. Your knees to your chest, hands behind the thighs. We roll from front to back. And then roll yourself all the way up. We're gonna roll those shoulders back, lift the heart, and come to tippy toes, or lift the feet, flex those feet, coming into our modified boat. Keep the heart lifted, stay out of the low back. Either stay here or start to reach the arms out to the side. Either stay here or straighten the legs. Breathe. Good. Release the hands to the backs of the knees, place the feet down, and let's bring ourselves all the way around to tabletop. 
you arrive in tabletop, just get yourself settled. Feel free to use your padding underneath the knees. Pull these out of the ears. Center and send that right leg behind you. Make sure the right hip is not lifted. We want it square to the floor. Pull the low tummy in. Good. Either stay there or float the left arm up. Take a nice full breath here. Find your drishti. Good. Exhale, knee to nose or knee to elbow. Pull in and up. Inhale, extend. Two more. Pull it in. And inhale, extend. Last one. Pull in. Inhale, extend. All right. Release the hand to the floor. Keep that leg lifted. We're going to take the leg out to the side. Try to keep it lifted. Toes point forward. You got it. Another breath. Slowly release that foot down. And then seal the pinky edge of the foot to the floor. Lengthen through the spine. Little cat cow here. Open the heart. Lift the tailbone. Shoulders back. Round the spine. Tuck the chin. Inhale. Open the heart. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Good. Inhale, open the heart. One last one. And then round the spine, tuck the chin. And come to neutral. As you come to neutral, walk the hands forward and begin to drop the head and heart to the floor. You can always bend the elbows and drop those down as well if that feels better in your body. Think about down dog and press the hips back. Press through the hands, start to lift the head and heart, walk the hands under the shoulders. When you get there, stabilize in the left leg and the hands, pull the core in, fire up the glutes, and float the right foot up off the floor. And then send it back behind you. Square the hips, tummy pulls in. Release that right knee down, back into your tabletop, settle in. As you're ready, left leg floats behind you to the floor or lifted. Square those hips, tummy in. Right arm can stay where it is or extend out in front. Find your drishti. Exhale, knee to elbow or knee to nose, pull in. Inhale, extend. And pull it in. And extend. Again, pull it in. And extend. Release the hand down. Take that leg out to the side. Keep the foot lifted if you can. Oops. <laughs> and release the foot down and glue the pinky edge down to the floor. Walk the hands forward. Drop the head and heart, maybe the elbows. Press the hips back. Nice full breath in, full breath out. And then inhale, lift the head, walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Let's lift that left leg, stabilize. Slide that leg back, square off the hips, and then place the knee down. Wiggle it out a little bit, and then let the knees go wide and melt the hips to the heels. Child's pose. Take nice full breaths here, softening and settling. Take a nice big inhale, big exhale. And making your way up into tabletop. Bring the knees underneath the hips, and then start to step your feet back for a plank. Squeeze to the middle line, press through the hands, press up behind the heart. Let the gaze be out in front of you just a little bit so the neck is neutral. Let's send the hips up and back, let the knees be bent as you melt the heels into your down dog. 
and release the head and neck. Full shoulders out of the ears. Nice full breaths here, big inhale, big exhale. Good. Move through one vinyasa together. Inhale, come forward into plank. Either keep those knees lifted or lower them down. And we'll lower through our modified chaturanga or full chaturanga if you feel ready. Inhale, baby cobra or higher, whatever's in your practice. And as you're ready, curl those toes, send it all the way up and back, down dog. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Look towards the front of the mat, walk the feet forward, coming to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Let your knees have a little bend, maybe a big bend. And then shake the head yes and no, release. Nice full breath here. Ground through the feet. Pull that energy all the way up the legs and come up halfway, hands to shin, straight down. Exhale, forward fold. Reverse swan dive all the way up. And then as you bring your hands to your heart, bring the right knee up. So you can always keep toes on the ground or lift. Find your drishti. Nice full breath. All right. Let's reach those arms up. And as you exhale, hands down, feet foot down. Roll the shoulders, take up some space. Tadasana. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms to the sky. Exhale through center, forward fold. Find those strong legs, let the head release, tailbone lifts. Nice full breath here. Ground through the feet, pull that energy up the legs, come up halfway. And then exhale, forward fold. Reverse swan dive all the way up. And as you pull the hands into the heart, start to bend the left knee, lift it off the floor. Maybe just the heel, maybe the whole foot. Another full breath here. Inhale, reach the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, float them down with the foot. Tadasana. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let's stretch the arms all the way up. You might clasp them up top, reach them towards the sky. Reach up and over to the right. Either side, we'll do both. Press down through the feet. Pull the tummy in, let those shoulders roll back. Yeah. And then come back up through center. We'll go over to the other side. Press down through the feet, open up a little more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, cactus arm, squeeze shoulder blades, lift the heart. Do not send the hips forward. Keep those hips above the knees and ankles. Let the heart open. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Ground through the hands, step back with the right leg. Find your low lunge. Squeezing the inner thighs together, get some length in the spine. Let's reach down and rise up for your high lunge. Good. Find your drishti. Reach the right arm forward, left arm back. Nice high twist. Relax the shoulders. Look over to the left. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, plank. You can vinyasa if you want it, or press back into child's pose, or straight into down dog. When you arrive in down dog, take a nice full breath in, full breath out. Left leg lifts. We're gonna bring the left knee to the nose, round the spine, pull it in and up. Then the left leg back. Set that left leg all the way forward. When you land, right arm roots to the floor or to a low block. 
Keep that left hip pulling back. We're gonna float the left arm up for a little twist. Two windmills, so the left arm reaches back. Keep that shoulder open. Take it to the floor, roll it forward and up. Take it back to the floor, forward and up. Nice full breath here. And then bend the left elbow just a little bit. Think like half a cactus arm. We're pulling the elbow in towards the rib. One more breath. Reach the left fingertips up, take them down to the ground. Step it forward, forward, hold. Bend the knees just a little bit, ground through the feet. Come up halfway and then start to lift all the way into chair pose. Step to the full back, heart lifts, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Arms can reach forward or hands can be at heart center. One more breath. Press down, lift all the way up. And release the arms down and roll the shoulders. Open the heart, take up space. Big inhale. Big exhale. Arms up, big breath in. Exhale, hands through center, forward fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Hands release down, step back with the left leg. Round down, float up for your high lunge. Find your stability here, step center. Left arm forward, right arm back. Open up for your high lunge. Oh, another breath here. Beautiful. Reach both arms up, unspiraling, back through center. Release the hands down. Step back plank, move through your vinyasa, your leg. As you arrive, extend the right leg behind you. Bring the knee to the nose, round in, squeeze. Then the right leg back. Step it all the way forward. Help it forward if it needs it. Give yourself a moment to get settled in your low lunge. Maybe place a low block underneath the left hand or it grounds to the earth. Right arm lifts. Keep that right hip pulling back as best you can. Good. Let's take that right arm, float it behind you. Two windmills, down to the ground, forward and up. Nice and mindful, nice big circles. One more. Reach the fingertips straight up. Bend the right elbow, pulling it back. Just a little bit, it's not gonna go very far. Nice full breath here. Good. Reach the arm straight up and then place the fingers to the floor. Step it forward, forward fold. Ground through the legs, inhale, come up halfway, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees a little bit, stabilizing the legs. Come up halfway, and then continue all the way into your chair pose. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Another full breath here. Press down, lift all the way up, and release those arms down. Roll the shoulders open the heart, around through the feet, soften through the heart. Find your breath. Good. All right, let's sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale through center, forward fold. Step back with the right leg. Let that back heel draw down behind you, warrior two footing. Right arm reaches forward and ground through the legs and let that arm carry us all the way up, warrior two. Good. Let's reach the arms straight up, straighten the front leg. And then exhale, bend the front knee and settle in. Look at that back foot. Maybe take it back an inch and drop in a little deeper, maybe. 
três no coração, na espalda. We're going to cross the left arm over the right. Eagle arms over to the side. So now your heart is facing over to the right. Legs are still in warrior two with all the integrity of warrior two. Lift the fingertips. Take the forearms towards your back foot like an inch, maybe two inches, maybe three, not far. We don't want to turn the torso though. And then let your gaze go over the left shoulder. You have to keep that shoulder relaxed down. Check in with your legs. Make sure they're stable. One more breath here. Let's unwind the arms, swing them wide for warrior two. And then we flip the front palm and reverse it. Nice full breath here. Let's cartwheel the hands all the way down. Back heel lifts. And we take that left leg all the way back, three-legged dog. Come forward into plank. You might lower that foot or keep it lifted. Another breath here. All right, let's all lower the foot, either move through your vinyasa or press straight back like a dog or child. Soften that jaw. Just full breath in, full breath out. Then the left leg behind you. Let's take that left knee to the left elbow. Squeeze and tap. Send it back. Left knee, right elbow. Squeeze and tap. Send it back. Step the left leg all the way forward. Ground through the legs. Step the right foot forward, forward, fold. Release the head. Lift the tailbone a little more as you ground through the legs and the feet. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Root through the legs, reverse swan dive all the way up. And hands to the heart. Big inhale, big exhale. We're going to reach the arms behind you as you pull the hips back. So chair pose, palms face down, squeeze shoulder blades together, reach the fingertips back. Try not to jet the ribs forward, mind you. I have to wrap them in and then sit down a little deeper. Another breath here. Let the gaze be down on the floor. If I'm length in the neck. Inhale and exhale. Root down, lift all the way up, sweep the arms to the sky, and then swan dive forward. Hold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale forward fold. Hands ground down. We step back with the left leg. We'll lunge. Back heel draws down to the earth, parallel to the back edge of the mat. Left arm reaches forward and we let that left arm carry us up for warrior two. Settle in. As you find your way into your warrior two, look over the front fingertips. Nice full breath. Let's straighten the legs, reach the arms straight up. That's your inhale and exhale, settle in. Maybe take that left foot back a little teeny bit to drop in a little deeper, bend into that front knee. Another breath. Nice strong legs. Right arm over left, eagle arms. Let the heart open up to the side. Fingertips lift, elbows lift. And then the forearms go towards the back of the mat, maybe an inch or two. Keep that right shoulder relaxed down as you gaze over the right shoulder. Another full breath. Ah. Unwind the arms, reach them nice and long. Flip the front palm, reverse it. Keep those legs strong. Big inhale, big exhale. Let's cartwheel it down. Back heel lifts. Get it all the way back. Vinyasa. You do you.
Don't have to lock the elbows. <clears throat> As you arrive in your down dog, let's extend the right leg behind. Knee to right elbow, tap. Bend it back. Knee to left elbow, tap. And send it back. Step that right leg all the way forward. Other breath here. Ground through the right leg, step the left leg forward, forward fold. Tailbone reaches up, head releases. Let's bend the knees. Squeeze the glutes, pull the tummy in, roll up slowly, one vertebra at a time. Let the head and shoulders roll up last. Keep those knees bent though. Once the head and shoulders roll up, you can straighten the legs, roll the shoulders, open the heart. Take in this moment. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Just listen, not to me, to yourself. Listen to what your body tells you. Another breath. <clears throat> Let's bring the hands to the heart. Ground through your right leg. I'll mirror you here. We're going to lift the left knee. So maybe you just come to the toes. Maybe you lift that knee all the way up. And your drishti. Try not to lean back. Keep the heart hovering above the pelvis, the head above the heart. And then maybe lift the knee a little more without leaning back. Either stay there or extend the legs straight out. Even if you have to lower it a little bit, just make sure you're not leaning back. Another breath. Let's release that leg down and take the arms up. Open up the arms into a V, little heart opener up here. Shoulders relax down. Don't dip the hips forward. Another breath. Hands to the heart, forward fold. Bend those knees, roll it up slowly. Just let everything be heavy. Let your core do the lifting. Knees stay bent till you're all the way up. Roll the shoulders when you arrive. Nice full inhale. Full exhale. Bring the hands to the heart, ground through your left leg. Lift the right heel. Maybe lift the whole foot, lifting that knee up. Bring it up as high as you can without leaning back. Maybe bring it up a little more, maybe. Good. Straighten the leg, use your drishti. Awesome. You all have so much stability happening today. It's beautiful. We need to be grounded during all this craziness. Let's take another breath. Good. Reach the arms up, release the leg down as the arms come down. Roll the shoulders. Nice, full breath in. Full breath out. Put the feet on the earth. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's inhale, sweep those arms to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Ground through your hands. Lots of little steps back until you get into your downward facing dog. We'll take one last vinyasa if you want it or hang out in down dog. So let's all make our way to child's pose as you feel ready. Wiggle those hips through the heels, walk the fingertips forward more, or let them rest by your side if that feels better. So roll along the eyebrow line, stimulating the third eye, our intuitive center, the place we connect from and hopefully listen to.
You can walk your hands under your shoulders. Press yourself up slowly. Bring the knees together, come to sit on your heels or place a block between your heels and sit on a block or two. Just let yourself feel your practice. Feel the energy within you and around you. Keep your breath around you. Feel free to stay here or roll the shoulders up. Pull them back, bring those elbows towards each other and take the hands and clasp them at the low back. Slide the shoulder blades down the back as the knuckles maybe reach towards the floor. You don't need to straighten the arms. Let the elbows have a little bend. Keep those elbows squeezing in, keep the shoulders squeezing in. And then if you're a rib poker outer like I am, pull them in. Take a nice full breath here. If it feels good to lift the chin and open the heart more, Feel free to do that, but it also might feel good to tuck the chin a little bit and open up the back of the neck while the shoulder blades squeeze together. One more breath. Gently release the hands. Let them rest. Just let all that go. Let yourself soften and receive. Big inhale. Big The hips will move over to one side. Keep coming around front. <clears throat> we'll find our way down onto our back. So if you want to uh, maybe grab a block if you have one. You might want that reachable once we're down. You can lower down one vertebra at a time. Or if you want a little more core action, we'll lift the legs coming into both. And then again, we lower the spine, keep those feet lifted, lower down one vertebra at a time. Once you land with the upper back, you can slowly bend those knees more and release, release the feet to the floor. Take a nice big breath in and a big breath out. Right. Let's take the arms up and over the head. If it feels okay, you can clasp elbows as long as you can release elbows and shoulders to the floor. If they don't release to the floor, maybe find a wide V or even choose to keep the arms down by your side. Good. Take the feet a little wider from left to right and let's windshield wiper the knees over to one side and over to the other side. We'll just windshield wiper a little bit. If you want to hang out on one side, let the knees fall over to the left. If you want to go deeper, take the left foot and put it on top of the right knee and soften into gravity. Make sure there's no pinching in the low back. If there is, then come out of this and just do a little windshield wiper. Just welcome a nice big breath in and a big breath out. One more just like that. Start to fire up the core, pressing the back into the floor, low, slowly lifting the knees up. The windshield wiper a little just to release that low back in the hips. And then let the knees fall down to the other side. And if you want to stack right foot over left and come in deeper, you can do that. Nice full breath, right foot over left knee. Letting gravity take over. Nice big inhales. Big exhales. Start to lift those knees up, fire up the core. Once you land, a little gentle windshield wiper just to release the paper. Okay, bring the feet hip distance. Let's release those arms down by your side. Slide the shoulder blades down the back. Take a nice big belly breath. Big exhale. Let's grab your block. If you don't have a block, you can use um, a rolled blanket might work, or even a pillow, or use nothing. 
fine to keep the back flat on the floor for this. Let the hips lift, place the sacrum on the block. Let your arms rest, palms face up, away from the body a little bit. Just make sure those shoulder blades are melted onto the floor. Either stay just like this for a re, um, restorative bridge, or start to let the knees float above the hips. Looking for effortlessness here. Maybe you float the feet up. The legs don't need to be straight. The feet can dance and dangle. Looking for letting go. So if this takes a lot of hard work for core or hamstrings, then maybe step it down and keep those knees bent. Wherever you have landed, whatever serves you best here, tune into the rise and fall of the belly. Letting go, finding ease. Add another full breath in, full breath out. You might gently wiggle the toes, wiggle the ankles. Carefully bend the knees, use your core to lower the feet to the floor, feel the earthly connection with the feet. Take a nice big belly breath. Press down through the feet, engage the glutes, lift those hips, move your block, lower down slowly one vertebra at a time. When you land, take a nice releasing breath to surrender the back body to the earth. And then you start to bring those knees in. You can give yourself a little rock and roll for a moment. Feel free to stay with that if that feels good, or we'll come into happy baby as another option. Knees wide, grab the outer edges of the feet or the ankles or even the back of the thighs. Take a few breaths, either in stillness or find some rolling. Maybe you extend one leg and then another. Maybe you find a little playfulness. Channeling our own inner happy baby. And full inhale, full exhale. Gently bring the soles of the feet together. You might even clasp hands, let the knees go wide. Take a nice full breath there. Slide the hands to the knees, pull the knees together. Give yourself a hug. Bring the heart up to the knees. Give yourself a tight squeeze. Yeah. And then gently release the head and heart to the floor. Let the legs extend along. And give yourself a few moments to get settled into Shavasana. So whatever support you need. Maybe it's a little blanket over the body or a roll underneath the knees. If there's another position that serves you better, you can give that to yourself. Excuse me. As you get settled, just let yourself wiggle around a little bit to drop in a little deeper. Gently welcoming, nice full breath in. Feel it fill up the whole body. And a full breath out, giving permission to release and surrender. Okay. 
Let the breath flow effortlessly. Feel the subtleties of your breath. Feel the body receive it. Feel the body release it. As the breath continues to slow, maybe notice and allow yourself to be with the pause at the top of the breath and at the bottom of the breath. Recognizing the breath as a four-step process, though it might be subtle, just letting yourself be with that. Without changing a thing, just bring awareness in. Notice your body. Notice your space. Allowing the awareness to expand. And choose to deepen the breath. Find a fuller inhale and a more complete exhale. Letting your breath be the first step to coming into this moment and bringing the body back 
Welcome a little movement. Start to wiggle fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Just allow yourself to organically move into a full body stretch as you do. As you stretch, you might open and close the mouth, release the jaw, maybe even turn the head from side to side gently. Invite the knees up to the chest and give yourself a hug. And then roll over to whichever side calls to you, just in your own time. When you get there, welcome a nice full breath in and out. Letting yourself settle into the stillness with it. And with a nice big inhale, use the top arm to press yourself all the way upright. Don't worry too much about what direction you face. Just find your seat. Let the eyes remain closed or soft to the floor. And see if you can find more length in the spine. Crown of the head floating up and out and the tailbone grounding down. And then when we pull those two energies into our heart, bring your awareness to your heart center. Let's bring the palms together there. Let's take a moment to notice. We come together as one to close our practice with a cleansing breath. Let's collectively exhale and send it out. Send it out to somebody or a group of people or the whole world. Just sending out the benefits of our practice, sharing it with others. Nice big breath in. Big breath out. Lowering your busy thinking mind to the stillness, the wisdom, the love in our hearts. Namaste.